Hello Patrick and welcome to Exposit the Word. Our question for today, what does it mean to be seated with Christ? Yeah, in Ephesians and Colossians, mm. he speaks how we're seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Yeah, and uh, at least for me and you right now, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm <laughs> seated in the yeah. heavens. Yeah. I'm seated here in Kansas City in a podcast studio, <laughs> and we're talking on Skype. And so, you know, in the in the heavens, it would be nice. We might not even have to log into Skype. Maybe <laughs> we could just cro- <laughs> talk across the universe or something. Yeah. Um. So obviously, there there's some tension here. We have to think about because. We're, we're seated physically here, but what I think he's saying is um, we're seated with Christ in that what has happened to Christ has happened to us because we have been united with Christ. Mm. Here's the key doctrine of mm. union with Christ. Mm. Because Jesus Christ is our head and we are his body, what happens to him has happened to us, which means we are victorious with him. Mm. We are safe in him. I mean, this is Romans 8. This is... Um, because Jesus has been glorified, we will be glorified, yes, but we are also glorified in some sense now. And so the victory of Christ is our victory because we are in him. And that is mysterious language, right? That mm-hmm. we are in him. Yeah. But throughout the New Testament, it affirms that what has happened to Christ has happened to us. So how does that affect us? Well, um, at least tomorrow— let me apply it to our current political climate. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow is election day <laughs> in yeah, America, yeah. Um, presidential election day. And we can remember that no matter what happens, mm. um, we are reigning with Christ already. And mm. so that gives us great hope. That gives us great confidence. We can remember that though they can destroy whoever it is, destroy our bodies, they can never take away our soul. They yeah. can never take away the victory that Christ has won. Yeah. And you think back to the early church and the martyrs. This is the hope that they held on to. This mm. is why they could go before the lions and before the sword and confess Christ and say, you can take nothing away from me. Why? Because they are already seated in the heavens. Yeah. And that can't be taken away from us. Yeah.